This is Aaliyah Hoffman, uh, my daughter. She's three years old, um, and she has been fighting epilepsy since she was nine months. Um, they don't know the cause for it. We did a lot of genetic testing. Everything comes back normal. Um, and this is the picture when, when she was first diagnosed. Um, she's just a baby. As a parent, I have um, really bad coping skills. Um, and I like this campaign that's going on, what I know now. Um, because what I know now, hoping that I knew back then, is about a coping mechanism that I'm using right now, which is fundraising. And it is just one way to fight epilepsy for my daughter. She can't do it. I mean, like, this little girl. She, she, she Her only voice is my voice. Another thing that I wish... I knew then what I know now. Um, the thing that I know now is that the squeaky wheel works. It doesn't matter if you sound rude over the phone, calling every single day, it works. Um, at Johns Hopkins, we were on the waiting list for, I think, like over three months. Um, I said fine. And I got tired of waiting, so I called every single day. Um, and she was like, I know I told you that there was no cancellations and we'll call you. I'm like, well, yeah, I just want you to know that I'm in your mind. I'm going to suck it up. I'm going to call them every day. You know, soon enough, they told me I didn't have to, like, less than a week passed by. I think it was, like, my fifth day calling. Um, they told me I could go there two days later. So, yeah, that worked. Another thing that I know now, what I wish I knew back then, um, was neurologists. They don't know it all. They really don't. They... There, they have experience. Yes, they do, um, but not all. Not not to. I would say no two neurologists would agree. Um, we've seen probably over seven neurologists now, and none of them want to treat Aaliyah. Uh, none of them want to treat Aaliyah the same way. Um, it's either really aggressive they want to treat it, or. The other one's like, no, we can't treat it that aggressively because we're going to hurt our organs if we do. And then the other one's like, no, we have to treat it aggressively or else, you know, you're hurting her brain. Um, and you have to pick one or the other, one or the other. And some neurologists would be very mean. They'll be very cold. They will tell you how my daughter will never drive, how most likely she won't go to college. Um, they are not optimistic. And some of them, they're really nice. They people person, um, which I try to look for in a neurologist. I can't just talk to a person that only cares about research. Another thing that I wish I knew then, what I know now, is um, keeping a seizure diary. Um, I, with the seizure diary, I know what works, what anti-seizure medication works. For a long time, Leah has been under four different types of anti-seizure meds at a time. And now we just basically cut it down to just one. Because we know that one works compared to the rest. Thanks for the seizure diary. We're knowing um, what types of food kind of, because she's on the ketogenic diet, what type of food we really can't play with. Also, the seizure diary is also a progress diary. So let's say she's under, uh, under Sabriel. She started sighing like crazy because of Sabriel. When we introduced Epico, her, she wouldn't do much. She wouldn't use her signs. She she was starting to regress. She started losing a lot of strands of her hair. Um, she started bruising with Capra. We like on on the progress. You know, on daily sheets. I noticed that she was really aggressive, and you you could see that. You know, you see that trend. Um, going to the hospital, being hospitalized so many times, you kind of lose track. Everything looks like it's all mashed in. You think one day was that day, and the seizure diary helped us. Um, coordinated um resources the resources out there um i want to thank the epilepsy foundation i had a problem i had a huge problem with my daughter's daycare i had a huge problem with them they did not understand what the ketogenic diet was they did not understand how important it was to keep, maintain it you know and uh, Child serve, even though they said they're really proud of being um, a kid with disability, just with us, they didn't treat it. Maybe it was because I was a young mom. I don't know. Um, but they they helped me. They helped Aaliyah be, have another advocate. 
Um, they went to her di- her daycare center and they told them on different forms of seizures. They were basically educating them. They needed the education, by the way. Um, they were great. You know, it's not only me that's telling them. It's like, hey, I have proof. Other people know. And they were telling them what infantile spasms was because not a lot of people know about infantile spasms. Um, the ARC is a, another great resource to go to. Um, they have, like, funds that help you help the child stay at home, help you with respite. They give you, like, respite funds. They give you um, for my daughter to go to, you know, get more PT, so I put in gymnastics. Um, even though she doesn't really get it because she's really, really behind. Um, they helped us with uh, daycare, with the babysitter that we could pay um, during emergencies. It's been great. Um, another thing is like waiver programs. If you have one in your state, use it. Get respite out of that, which is great. Um, and we get um, people that come in that are that have a background check and help Aaliyah, you know, with her speech therapy. Um, I just show them videos of Aaliyah's speech therapy, and they do the same thing at home with her. They play with her. Um, they take her for swimming classes, you know. It's been great. Um, another program that I love, that, I, that you know, I'm recently into, um, it's called Parent to Parent. And um, the coordinator, she, she picks another parent to be your mentor, um, to kind of guide you where you need to go and um, basically just in a way like I feel like she's holding my hand right now because um, I am I am very vulnerable the neurologist they don't have a good el- outcome for it but I will keep on fighting for her and I hope this video helps one of the parents um, out there that's all just keeping together and fight epilepsy let's keep on fundraising for everyone out there for the children out there I would trade spots with my daughter in a heartbeat. Um, Thank you guys. Bye.